we have two exams in May and November. Step one, they are both main exams. So there is no supplementary, so there is some delays there. Well, so guys finally nmc conducted a webinar today and uh, there were a lot of things that were discussed by the chairman so i thought of uh, giving you some insight about the webinar and also the major takeaways so the first major major update is that next will be conducted for 2019 batch that is students those who are studying in their final years currently now uh, next will be conducted twice a year and there is a very big confusion over here because in the webinar they told that uh, next would be conducted twice a year and it would be in the month of November and in the month of May but now again there is a question whether uh, it is this November or it is the next November so a lot of people are saying that uh, exam will be conducted this November that is November 2023 because they have also planned a mock test in the month of July 28th of July for which registrations will be starting from 28th June. So people have this uh, opinion that since they are conducting the mock test in the month of July, it is very possible that the first attempt will be in the month of November. So this is the very big update uh, for students like me who are in final year that we have to appear for next in the month of November. That is even before our profs were uh, meant to be given. So that is the thing and there is a lot of confusion about it. So let's wait and hope for the best from the official NMC update that is going to come. So other than that, the exam pattern would be more of clinical based questions as they told. There would be more problem solving and more analytical skill type questions, 60-70% and 60% questions would be must know types. Then uh, the subjects again would be more focused on the final year as well as ENT and ophthalmology. And other than that, in every exam there will be uh, a certain weightage given to forensic medicine and community medicine you can see here on this um, slide uh, and the exam will be conducted in three days in two shifts and there will be two rest days also given the exam if you want to improve the score why they have to wait after passing step two for one year we have removed that clause also but that was earlier kept just to tell you so that during internship to you learn the skill and practical how you have to see the patient there were questions uh, queries that what will be the and a very big update here was that in the draft it was earlier told that if you have attempted uh, next this year then you will have to you can't give the next attempt of uh, next exam after just after your internship you have to wait one full year after your internship then only you can attempt for the uh, next um, next exam yeah so now they have scrapped this so after you are done with your internship you can immediately attempt the next exam that would be just coming uh, after your internship that is one major thing which they have done this time also there is a timeline that is given by nmc wherein they have told when next one step one would be conducted when we will be having a practical clinical university examination so next step one will be conducted in may and in november twice and which may which november we have no idea which year they have not mentioned then they have mentioned that we will be having a practical examination practical clinical examination that is by our universities which were after our profs so wo, that will be happening the same way after that they have given a timeline for internship again which is first january or july no years mentioned then there is next step two next step two will be conducted after we are done with our internship after a completion of our internship and then if we fail in the in that test next step two then we have another option of supplementary examination while in next step one there is no option of supplementary examination that is basically if you don't pass step one in the first attempt like for in the november attempt then you can apply for another that is may so there is no separate supplementary examination and that is the timeline they have given but they have not mentioned the years so let's see what is the official update that will be coming very soon and also they have told about the mock practice test that uh, registrations will be starting from tomorrow that is 28th june and the mock test will be 
on 28th of july so that is all the update about next that is what we have understood i will try adding some clips of the webinar which i have seen like i have attended myself since i am a final year mbba student so i'll be adding those clips if you just want to glance upon it and i'll also share the ppt in the description so you can download it so yeah that was the update and that was what i understood what i interpreted from today's webinar so see you guys if you found this helpful do not forget to subscribe to my channel and see you bye bye ultimately i am going to realize this exam pattern is better than the other because i have gone through all those stages and we used to be in i mean not you know any other message but this one that oh he was not to this fellow or this exam that gives better marks to girls to this all these are false those who write well will report well in this exam somebody has performed computer will not know somebody is related to somebody or somebody is you know good looking or not so good looking so all these factors and student people are having that will be removed so that is why this exam is going to be good for you now in this exam we i know that you have not completed your course so when this exam for that you keep main thing in mind you have to be familiarized with the type of questions which you are going to get in future curriculum we don't know the curriculum curriculum and course and study material is going to be same what has been for conventional exam method of evaluation is different that will evaluate all aspect that is going to favor students the method of evaluation is going to be uniform impartial and that will test suppose there be big questions as seven eight short notes and by chance you have not read anything that part is totally gone here there are going to be in one paper 120 or 60 questions so if you don't know one or two how does it better you know other questions so move on what you have to do in mcq is like time is most important type of questions when you attend if you don't know anything taking time just mark that question and move on to the next when you have finished most of that then you can come back so the questions which you know readily they are not left in the end because of shortage of time so keep on answering which you can answer immediately but don't be in a rush keep thought to flow thought stream like there should not be turbulence or anxiety if suppose anxiety comes because of some question just close your eye do two or three deep breathing move on further because in anxiety that will be problem for you because logical thinking has to be there what we are testing is can you think logically can you comprehend what is being conveyed in the stem of the question and the options almost always the answer clue of the answer will be in the question itself so if you read that carefully you will be able to answer better so that is what you have to do so don't waste time on one question which is which you are in difficult to understand go forward then when the time is right then you come back again and then start answering that way you will not be missing questions and that